Hello and welcome back to Learning the Liar Heart. My name is Sharon and today we are going to be talking about what to do when you find yourself in an area where there's no liar teachers around you. What can you do then? What do you need to do to start learning? What resources can help you learn and where can you go for a bit of help? Just like you, when I bought my lyre, I was very eager to start learning. And then shortly after that, I realized there's not that much resources available to learn how to play this mus these beautiful instruments. So I had to look at what can I do because the one-on-one -on -one lessons are not available for me. So I was determined and I set out the best way that I could learn to teach myself because I saw that as the only option I have for learning. So today I want to share with you some of the things that I did to help myself start learning and progressing along the way, um, even without those one-on-one -on -one lessons. And I have five tips for you and I'm hoping that those things would be helpful and beneficial to you and help you as much as it helped me. So one of the things I did was Google resources for learning the liar. There's really very few resources out there, but I was glad to find the things that are available to me and I read them and took notes and saw how I can apply them to my own learning and knowledge is power. And the more we know, the more we learn. And I really firmly believe in that. So even to this day, I would still go out and do some research and find out if there's any new informations that are relevant to me in playing the liar. And I still take notes of them and try to see how it would work for me and then share them out. So that's one of the first things that I did. Another thing that I did is I looked for tutorials on YouTube that I can follow and subscribe to. Now, you're probably very familiar with this step because that's probably how you found my videos and how you found me. And I really think that that's very useful to do because they're so very readily available and they're free. All you need is a really good internet and the device that you're um, using right now. Um, places, um, channels like Samantha on Mars where she plays songs and shows you the letter notes and you can um, learn by playing along with her are good channels to, to watch out for and to subscribe to you because they're very useful and very easy to learn. Um, my only advice here um, is to not try to overwhelm yourself. Um, I did that and I still sometimes end up doing that because there are so many available resources on YouTube and you can just start clicking and clicking and clicking and watching and watching, you know, one, one clip to another. And you can get so very distracted by all of those things and you can fall into the hole of losing so much time watching and very little to actually playing and applying what you've just learned. So I do want to caution you with that because I still do that sometimes um, just because there's so many things that are so interesting on YouTube. So just really be mindful about your time and make sure that you're not just consuming information, but you are also applying yourself and making use of those resources that you find. Another idea, and again, you can use YouTube for this, is to find someone that plays the instrument very well. And you can take the time to watch their videos, observe how they play, observe their style, observe their techniques, and the expression and how they play the music, and the expressions that they use um, to express themselves and see if that's something that you would like to learn. Now, imitation is a great form of learning. It's how most children learn things. It's a good way to get started. But again, I have a caution on this one in that I don't want you to get stuck there. You are you. You're unique. You're beautiful with so much to offer. And you know, imitating somebody is great for starting to learn. But the object of learning is to have you be expressing yourself and your own beauty and your own uniqueness to your own playing. Because if you think about it, 
the great musicians around and you know all of those um, great musicians that have passed on were really great because they were able to express their uniqueness and their own beauty and share that with others so i would be so happy and we would be so glad if you can have that opportunity to express yourself so imitation is a great form of learning like i said but don't get stuck there you are you you are beautiful and you need to learn to express that for yourself now the other um idea that i have is to join a community of people that are also learning to play the lyre there's different um, communities around there and if you're lucky you will find one um, that's that's a live one in your area. I wasn't that lucky. So I tried to join a few um, virtual communities on Facebook and I started my own because I didn't find what I was looking for. And just be careful in selecting the group um, that you join because you want a group that is accepting. You will find that there are specialty types of groups and they specialize in um, specific types of instruments, specific kinds of instruments, as well as specific kinds of techniques. So you might not feel so welcome in those, in those group and don't take it out on them because that's what they form the group for. And that's what they're all about. And you have to understand where, where they are coming from. So if it's not a fit for you, move on and find a different group that will be a better fit for you. Um, a community uh, that is good for someone new and someone learning um, is a, a community that is open for you to ask questions, where you can get answers, get support, find encouragement, make friends, have great interactions, share resources and share your progress for a learner that's the community that um, you should be looking for because a good community can make a difference in um, continuing to play and to play well because you won't feel so isolated and you will always know that there's are people cheering for you and that are there to help you along the way and it's a really an excellent way to make good friends and lifelong friends. So I really encourage people joining a community when they're taking up something new. Now, the last one that I have for you is um, use what you have now. Use what's available to you. You will find resources for learning to play the lyre are very, very limiting. Um, I created a website. The link for that is below if you want to check it out if you haven't done so already um, to help with resources. But when it comes to playing the modern lyre, you will be frustrated because there's, again, like I said, there's very few resources. But, you know, the resources that you have now um, on hand from playing other instruments and resources that are available to you um, from many, many musical music source like um, teaching um, basic starting piano and the theories uh, that it contains is applicable to learning not just those instruments, but all types of instrument. Music theory doesn't change from one instrument to the other the only thing that changes is the application on how you would play those notes that is the only thing that changes but music theory itself is a very is very basic and it applies to all instruments so it's not a waste of time and it's not a waste of resources to get one of those books if you don't have it already especially if you want to play to play um melodic songs and you want to start learning how to read music and to learn basic rhythm and basic music theory those beginner books although they are not written for liars will still help you get all of those resources get all of those information and start learning um they it's it's still very beneficial for you and i would really encourage if that is the only resources available for you use them they are still useful and what you will learn from those books you can apply to playing your lyre and 
all other instruments that you might want to take on later. So don't be frustrated because you can't find things to help you to learn to read music for the lyre or help you to um, play rhythm for the lyre and, you know, and all of that stuff because other resources are already out there available for you. And some of them are so readily available, you can find them even used at a very, very cheap price. So um, again, if you want resources, I have tried to make them available for free on the website as well as on my YouTube channel. But if you want something written and printed book that you can follow along and there's none available for you, do look at those resources. I, like I said, playing the keyboard um, for beginners are good resources for reading, for basic reading, and basic theory. So those are the five key things I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something um, from it, and I hope that you are continually being inspired to learn your lyre and to play beautiful music. That's it for now. Happy playing!